and the Columbus Collection Agency is being accused of scamming customers. Coverage you can count on starts right now. From WTVN, this is News Leader 9 at 5. Businesses across Columbus are accusing a local collection agency of stealing money. Good afternoon, I'm D. Armstrong and Wayne is off today. News Leader 9 has talked with several local businesses, convinced they have been scammed by a Columbus collection agency. Our Consumer Watch reporter, Zanetta Lowe, is joining us live with more on our top story. It's a common practice for businesses to use collection agencies to recoup funds they can't get. In this case, the business owners we talked to say this collection agency is doing a fine job of rounding up the money. They just haven't seen any of it. Office manager Gene Wilkes prepares this letter to send out to hundreds of patients of local ophthalmologist Dr. Emmanuel Wilkes. It says not to forward any more payments to Cobra Collection Agency. Wilkes and billing clerk Deborah Pierce say the agency has indeed been collecting funds from patients, but they haven't seen any of it in months. If they're collecting them from the patients every month, at the end of each month, they're supposed to forward the percentage to us after they, their percentage is taken out. Carrie Ryan, a bookkeeper for the property management division of Kennan and Parker, has a similar story. The tenants would call us and say that they had satisfied their debt and wanted to know if they could um, rent from us again. And I said, well, you know, we don't have a record of you paying off the collection agency. And they provided us with a receipt that they had paid them off. We catch up with Cobra Collection Agency owner Janice Ledden. She tells us her firm has indeed collected that money, but it's gone. Ledden says she's the victim of embezzlement, but plans to repay all of the money. Meanwhile, another businessman who claims he was scammed by Cobra has started a web page to alert and educate other businesses. And I was thinking, wow, you know, if she can't make good on me, with me, and I'm a pretty assertive person as well, the people who are more passive and don't know much about this, they're being walked on. And I just felt that that was really wrong. Now, Matthew Chan tells us he has contact, contacted the mm -hmm. Financial Crimes Division of the Columbus Police Department and the mm -hmm. Better Business Bureau. Cobra Collection Agency owner Janice Ledden says she will be contacting the businesses mm -hmm. affected by letter and asking for at least 90 days to repay the funds. To get the money. Yes, yeah, so okay. we'll see what happens. Yeah. Thanks a lot, Zanetta. Mm. Police